Alright. Yo, man, it's DNA, aka Mr. Get Him the Fuck Out of Here. Now on the B Shine TV, man. What's up? You know, my favorite memory, me being an artist myself and a rapper, you know, I gotta say my first memory is when I started really, you know what I mean, when I found a love for hip hop, like my real love, you know what I mean? I used to listen to it, but I didn't really start loving it until I was like 11. I remember um, I was at my crib and my uncle had brought these DVDs, I mean these um, CDs over, and um, he had the CD of Lloyd Banks, I remember, you know what I mean? Cause you know, I'm only 21, so, you know, for some people, it might have been Big Daddy Kane, Biggie, somebody else, you know what I mean? I already heard of them, but, I had listened to the CD, and you know what I mean? I heard Lloyd Banks spitting all these punchlines, and I'm like, yo, this, this, this type of rhyming is kind of hot. And then after that, you know, I started, at first I recited his rhyme to my friends, and they was going crazy. And then after that, I started writing my own rhymes, and you know what I mean? That's when I really started making music. So that's probably one of my best memories. Um, you know what I mean? If I look at my, my whole career, you know what I mean, in battling, I like to say I'm blessed, you know what I mean, to, to have the opportunities that I had, to do what I wanted to do to battle some of the best people in the world, you know what I mean, and prove myself to the world, prove myself to hip hop, prove myself to my fans, and you know what I mean, it's just, it's just a great look, man, you know what I mean, sometimes I look back and I, I'm amazed on how many people I battled at a young age and how much stuff I accomplished, but you know what I mean, I always keep the mentality, you know what I mean, that sky's the limit, so even though I did this, in this world it's not enough, now I gotta go attack the music world and, and the industry over there and do what I gotta do over there and still attack this battle world, you know what I mean? Because that's what made me who I am. So, you know what I mean? I just look at everything like sky's the limit because I feel like when you don't, that's when people get too comfortable and, you know what I mean? They start, they start feeling themselves more than they should and, you know what I mean? That's how you fall off, so. When I started watching it, I was watching Murder Mook, Loaded Lux, Young Miles, T-Rex, and from that DVD era to the sneaker store to now how in my era that I'm in now, it's at Webster Hall, it's, 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 um, it's in the biggest clubs that's in New York City and around the world. I feel like in 10 years, man, this would be on TV, this would be, this would be on HBO, this, this would be something, you know what I mean? Like when you see Jay-Z at the Garden, that's the impact that battling to have, you know what I mean? And it, it'll go mainstream, but at the same time, I hope it doesn't lose the actual feel that it comes from the underground. But I think definitely it'll progress because we've seen it progress before our eyes to everybody that's been into this since the beginning. You've seen it go from Jump Off TV to WRC to now you got Webster Hall and you got people like uh, Kevin Durant. You got people like Jay-Z saying they watch it and, and these type of people that's endorsing it. So imagine in 10 years, you know what I mean, where we'll be. You know what I mean, just hopefully I'm around to see it. Hopefully, you know I mean, I'm still still able to battle and compete at it to my highest potential and do what I gotta do. Um, Summer Madness 2, I'm battling E. Ness. You know, you probably seen him on Making in the Band, you've seen him against Iron Solomon, Arsenal, uh, J. Mills, Hollow Man. You know, uh, a lot of people, I feel like, I'm not gonna say this because you know e has got his fans, but a lot of people, you know what I mean, they, they, they ask me why did I take the battle, it doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? I tell them, you know what I mean, I think I think Enes is talented, I think the stage is right, the time is right, the atmosphere is right for him to come back and do his thing. So you know what I mean, I think he's gonna come and he's gonna show up, and I mean, that's what I want. I want a good battle, I want him to be prepared, I'm gonna be prepared, and we're gonna do what we gotta do. So you know what I mean, that's basically it. Now besides me battling, you got Loaded Lux versus Calico, which I think is gonna be a crazy battle. You got Sirius Jones versus Charlie Clips. I think that's gonna be out of this world. You know what I mean? Uh, Murder Mook versus Iron Solomon. T-Rex versus Averb. Like, it's crazy, man. I feel like this event right here is, might be the, on paper. Let me not say it before the production or the battles come out, but on paper, this is the greatest event in battling so far. On paper. Just off the names alone, you know what I mean? Who would have th thought in one night you could bring back Murder Mook, Iron Solomon, Sirius Jones, Loaded Lux, T-Rex, and Enus? You know what I mean? Like, that that's crazy. And then and then on top of that, you put us new guys in the mix, so it's like old versus new. That's that's what makes it hot. Because you got Averb, who's from this era, you got me, you got Calico, and you got Charlie Cliff. You know what I mean? We all colliding at one night, you know what I mean? To see who... Let's see, this this is basically to see if them niggas still got it or are we just the new generation, you know what I mean? First thing that goes through my mind is just, um, in this battle, how, how am I going to change the perspective of how people look at who I'm battling? That's my main thing. And then after I, I figure that out, I just start going in and taking bits and pieces of what I'm going to say, how I'm going to come up with it. But my main objective when I battle anybody... I think that's anybody's objective, even when they battle me, is to change the perspective on how people look at you in the ring. See, that's the key to, to breaking somebody down. You gotta change the way everybody looks at them. 
whether it's a good way, a bad way, a, a, a different way, you know what I mean? Any way, you gotta change the way people look at it. That's the first thing that goes through my mind, and then, you know what I mean? I've been doing it for so long, after that, I just zone out, and everything just comes, comes to play. I'm working on my mixtape, underrated and underpaid. I don't got a date for it, and I mean, I, I, I gotta stop telling people a date that I don't have it ready. I got a freestyle mixtape coming out, though, on July 24th. All freestyles over um, industry beats. Not actually me freestyling, but me writing to the beat. It's not my own beat, so I got that coming out. It's called GTFOH, hosted by DJ Logical, and you can download it on LiveMixtapes.com and whatever other websites pick it up. But that's the next thing I got coming out musically. Now I mean like uh, twitter.com backslash DNA underscore GTFOH. I answer everybody, whether you like me, whether you hate me, I answer. Facebook.com slash DNA GTFOH, it's no underscore there. And uh, if you got business or emails, you can hit up my publicist at bookdnanow at gmail.com.